Hello, everybody. Welcome to Let's Try. My name is Retromation. This is Power Chord, a hyper stylized roguelike deck builder battle of the band style game, which I'm shocked to say is not the first one I've played in the past like month, but this does seem to be going for something completely different. This is more of a traditional roguelike deck builder, but with a party of four characters when the game is out. I believe you'll be able to switch, like mix and match between the classes of each character. But let's pop on in and showcase this here. Uh, we've got the defensive drummers use blue cards to protect their bandmates. Destructive basis use purple cards to rain down attacks over the entire enemy band. Seems like AOE. We've got focused guitarists use red cards to do serious damage to single enemies. And support singers use yellow cards to power up allies and drain enemies. So, yeah, it looks like... Because early access launch is going to be, I think, in like a month. And then this character will come out. But, yeah, that is a very... It's a simple, clever idea to go with, you know, having four different character classes. And then, you know, over time, there will be multiple selections in that class. Because just adding, like, you know, just having... If you had three of each class, the amount of combinations is, like astronomically big for uh, just like for a character selection what amounts to in another game your selection of like the ironclad versus the silence or something like that 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 is a, already a potentially very interesting concept for now we obviously only got the four choices so let's get started baby i will note by the way i cannot make the game any louder uh <laughs> you know like just to make that clear, because it is obviously, it's a music-themed game, so obviously people want to hear the music and everything. For some reason, this is as loud as it goes. I I did my I did my best to, to boost it up, but that's as loud as it goes. Let's go to this path that has the elite. If, uh, if I know anything about roguelike deck builders, you go for the spicy fights early so you can snowball. But, all right, what do we got here? Okay, the hand you're dealt. Pick a target and drop your cards onto allies or enemies. Combo your cards together to do to really do some damage. The demon are dangerous, but not that bright. They'll tell you exactly what they plan on doing, so there's intense in the intent system that most roguelike deck builders do have. So, okay. Above their head, you're gonna be attacking purple with or position three and purple. Either or will tell me who it's gonna be attacking. Gotcha, you're attacking my front line. Neither of, the, neither of which have armor. So maybe, I don't know, can we do 12 damage in one turn? So yeah, this is a, it's, this, I'm already telling you right now, this is really what's, what's wonderful about, uh, <laughs> about indie games. Despite the fact that they, I, like I said, I did play two Battle of the Band theme roguelike deck builders the past month. I can already tell you this is, this plays completely differently. This is more of your your typical format with a, an oozing of style. Indeed, indeed. So, we are drawing one hand here. And it's using a combination of cards from all four of the characters' decks. Understood. But each character, I you know, will be buffed up separately. So, if we buff up one character, only their moves will have that benefit. Kind of like a, a party-based RPG in that sense. Just happening to use cards. So... What are we doing here? Do we want to let's let's block some damage? I'll block it on my back line. You're you're a healer. You can handle it. We could also we could just block everything. Add one barrier. Because yeah, barrier blocks one hit of any amount. So sure, let's just why not? Let's block everything. Grants two power charges to a single ally. Increases the damage dealt per hit. So I'm gonna actually go for this then because yeah that buffs it up yes it's gonna be random it might not hit the same target still that's awesome and then they're also hit with this corrosion apply one corrosion on hit so yeah every character has their own unique passive or trinket type type ability too that's awesome deals armor damage per turn i don't think they have any armor but still summon a barrier card at the start of every round Oh, that's, a, that's actually a really good passive. So that card, we will get it every single round. We can always block one hit. That's incredible. That's actually incredible. Uh, we've got gain an armor every time you apply a buff. Cool. Gain one rage charge every time this character is hit. Consumed to increase damage of rage damage abilities by one per charge. Okay. 
sorry. Increased damage of rage damage abilities. So, something about that sentence reads clunky. But does not count down unless spent. Gotcha. So we should take no damage. These guys ain't squat. Your armor refills after each battle, but you won't heal unless you find a rest stop on the map. Three damage to a rain. Okay, so yeah, this... We put on two, and it ticks down by one. Good deal. So... We can kill one. You're attacking the back line. So I feel like we just get you out of here. We're, we're fine. Bye-bye, sucker. I will say, I did record this a little bit already. And then, not not to the game's fault at all, my computer's been having issues. I hard crash a blue screen randomly. So there is actually like a little bit of a heads up thing when each of these characters enter. That's very cool and stylized, and I will say, look forward to it. It is very, very neat. Very, like, you can, it's very clear it's kind of inspired by the Battle of Bands poster kind of motif, which makes sense, obviously. Uh, we're definitely going to buff up you with a little bit of damage. That's nine damage right there, just in that one move, because it buffs up every single hit. That is, that's standard roguelike deck builder fare right there. Yet, yeah, you buff them up. Okay, you buff up the multi-strike fools with uh, with flat damage increase. That's just that's roguelike deck builder 101. You're gonna need to build charges to gain mo any momentum in a fight. They count down by one per turn, so make sure you use them. I I I do not know what the hell that means. Are you saying this? I mean, I know. Deal one damage and add two weakness charges to a single enemy. I mean, that's not too bad. Destroy a single ally's barriers and add three power charges for each destroyed. I mean, that's pretty bold, though. Because we'd have to add it and then remove it. It, it. This might as well currently read as spent two energy to add three power charges. Which, when you compare and contrast that to our our supports, one cost add two power charges, it's really not that good. It's really not that good. Not right now. Unless we had another more reliable way to add barriers for cheaper than the cost of one mana, I don't feel like we can really expend them for three power charges right now. It's too expensive. And this seems... This seems... Good-ish. Does it just reduce the damage dealt by two? I, I guess that's a lot in this game. I guess that is a lot in this game. But I'm going to go with uh, gain two power charges for zero. Because currently as it stands, we are not reliably able to... Um... Oh, God. That's so cool. Look at that. It's, a, it's like... Yeah, obviously this is... Who oh, you stole it from Slay the Spire. Slay the Spire was not the first one to do this. Yes, it popularized it. <laughs> it's a map. It's just a freaking map, dude. It's just a freaking map. <laughs> but, yeah, it's, the fact that it ends in this is so, so cool. This beats the hell out of just, like, a skull that is slightly scarier, you know? This is incredible. I love it. Uh, it doesn't really matter where we go. We have a little bit more options if we go up to the top, I guess, if we are guaranteeing ourselves to go to that elite, which I do think I want to do. Hello, boys. The wild card. A reckless base is built for rapid, chaotic attacks. A, the power line. A powerful team player. This charged singer keeps its allies stronger and alive longer. It's got a passive. Plus, deal plus three damage to the attacker if this character or any of its allies have been killed. Okay. This is rough. This is a rough... Like, we're going to take damage here. The question is, should I go all in on killing you first? What are you doing? You're going to buff him up. You're going to buff him up with power charges. Hell, maybe we do focus you down. I thought that typically you want to focus down the uh, support, but if you're going to be buffing him up and he actually has less health when combined with the armor, I think that we honestly go in on you. But I'll tell you what we'll do. We'll do this. 
And we shall hope that this... Oh my god. I can't believe it worked. I don't really need to add barrier just to block one damage on this sucker. But I'll tell you what. I'm not going to kill anyways, so hopefully we got lucky. I'm not going to kill anyways, so we might as well do it. Sure, fine. Okay, the armor blocked there. So you got a rage charge for getting hit by one damage. It's hardly that big of a deal. What is this six here? Doesn't change. What's the six and what's the two about? Is that the amount? Oh, that's the amount of damage that they've got coming in from over there. I see, I see, I see. Tell you what. Please. Good, 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 good. All right, so we're going to be taking six. So if we just barrier, we're fine. I'm very curious if this generates a rage charge or not. It still does. That's actually incredible. Wait, what? Spread the love. Oh, it does matter. It doesn't matter. <laughs> it's like this target's a random enemy. Oh, gee, there's only one left. I think it'll be fine. I love the. I love that guy right there. That outfit is so good. Stances. Stance card effects last till broken by taking health damage or changing to another stance. Guard an ally and gain four armor. For example. Which I assume I, I saw right there. Gain one rage each time this character does health damage. Wow. So what's the point of Defender, really, though? Being a stance. Why, why is Defender even a stance? Oh, is it because you, gu you guard them for as long as... You probably guard them for as long as you don't take health damage. Gotcha. Stance, deal one damage to a random enemy... Every time an ally attacks. Oh, that's all right, actually. It's all right. Depends if it gets buffed up or not. But truthfully, this would be better on anybody but purple. <laughs> this would be better on literally everybody else. I'm actually going to go with Defender. It's cheaper. So it's a one energy cost. It feels super usable to me. I don't know. And a lot of the attacks feel like... Okay, well, there's three There's three fools now. The Lurker. Cowardly guitarist that hides behind its bandmates while it builds up power. The bassist makes a good sidekick, raining down attacks over your entire band. I see. Do you have somebody who taunts or something? Because if you're in the back line... Wait, no, you're the AoE. Who builds up power? Why are you building up power? Oh. Precision shot, deal four damage to a single enemy, and gain two power charges. You kind of need to go, don't you? Alright, so this will start to do corrosion damage, which, if it hits anybody but the front line, is going to be incredible, is what I was just about to say. Because that would slowly corrode their armor, but... You know what? You can't always get what you want. We'll block that. Everybody else can take this damage to an extent. Because the artery bite, the arterial bite, looks like, yeah, it does four damage and then heal for the health damage dealt. So I feel like, you know, it's fine if we end up not doing anything here. Um, other than adding armor. I could also just do this because it does more damage. Eh. Do we just go in on you now? I guess I just go in on you now. I don't... Eh. Eh. The random really did not go how I wanted. Because I want I, I want to take down this guy before he really buffs himself up. 
Yeah, because every turn he gains two, that really is going to add up like mad. Stuff. So you you have to put that on you. That's okay. It's not great because we didn't have any attacks from you. Then this just makes the most sense. And then hopefully we get lucky, I guess. Oh god. So what's what's coming going on here? Eleven. We should be fine. Come on. Yeah, I didn't expect it, but hey. Okay. It's fine. It's all good. That's all good. That really that could have been so much worse. Come on. Stops three damage. We got a lot coming in here. Are you still guarding? Technically, you are. Not that it matters too much because your shield is going to go away. Good block. He takes one damage and it doesn't matter. This is, oh, this is great. Like, this is really good. I, it's, yes, is it doing anything really that different? No. Not particularly, but what it's doing is really good. Like, it's it's very clean, and I can see this being taken somewhere wild, you know? I could see that. I could see that. You are a real piece of work, my guy. Can I kill? I can. Wait, was that a ra that's a random hit. Four and four. We can still do it. So I'd rather just take out that eight damage bopper. We're gonna take one damage on everybody that is not him. And then we're fine here. Boink, boink. God, that's so good. That part's loud. Deal two damage and cleanse buffs from a single enemy. Ooh. Convert three rage charges into two power charges. Interesting. Unique. Two damage three times to random enemies. Oh, that's on the singer. I feel like we don't want to have too many multi-hits on different targets because we really want single targets to be... Uh, I'm taking that. That sounds interesting. We want single targets to be receiving... The buffs. Gearbox doesn't really matter. We got it. Start battles with plus two power charges and plus one instability charge. Okay. Increase the damage received by one. So who do we pick? Yeah, I was going to say. Who do we pick? Plus two power charges, one instability. That's got to be on Shinobi 13. You better believe it. Do we go to the rest site? We go to a shop if we. Yeah, there's a sh there's still a shop ahead. Do we really need to heal and raise the dead? Oh, if somebody dies, they're gone forever. But you can raise them back here. Even that's clever because then the question is, will their cards garbage your deck? I feel like them not being there is ar already enough of a penalty. I feel like if their cards garbage your deck too, then that is. Oh, so bad. Just trying to think if I should do this one or if I should go up. Let's go up. Let's go up and then fight the elite. I don't need to heal. Oh, but I will. The meat shield, the aggressive drummer with a thick hide that strikes with a flurry of attacks in quick succession. I know that. I got that too. 
Malevolent Singer that is more focused on corroding armor than amplifying damage. Ooh. Does anybody have buffs? Nobody has buffs. You're planning on corroding? No. Two damage and two instability charges to a single enemy. Yikes. Oh, God, they're all going in on you, huh? Doing some defending. It's kind of weird because he kind of likes to get hit, so I probably should. I, I should probably kind of let it happen. But. Eh. Maybe it technically still will count, for all I know. I doubt it. I doubt it, but hey. I don't know who to kill first. He's got the lowest HP. You do. You're you're a ramp. You're a ramp. Boy. So get the hell out of here. I really kind of want to go uh, put armor there. I don't like that he's about to take that damage because it might actually be more than two. Was it more than two? Because of his bomb charge? No, that already that already was taken into account. Good, 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 good. All right, what's the plan here? What's the plan here? We got 13, 13 damage coming out. Uh, I'm assuming they're going to attack left to right. So one barrier here is probably going to block a lot. All right. Uh, there's no reason to ever not do that card. Single random enemy. Eh, well, at least we're corroding his armor. Could be worse. Good block. This is spicy. This isn't even our elite. What's that? Reduces damage dealt per hit. That's that's okay. Uh, of all the targets to um, get hit by that, it's really not that big of a deal. We're obviously going to do this. Seven damage coming out. We could kill. We could kill him. I think we... Looking at everything we've got going on here, I think we just have to do that. I think that we need to get that seven damage off the field here. Pranto. Oh. Ouch. Very large ouch. Anybody have buffs on? Dance. Cards played by this character are repeated twice. Oh, God. Is that a, technically a buff? Nope, not technically. A stance is not a buff. I mean, that makes sense. Arterial Bite. Feels like it does make sense, too. Uh, well, if we hit him, he's going to stop... Um, oh boy. Do that, duh. If we hit him, he should theoretically stop his stance if he works like we do. Okay, he does. So he's not going to repeat his card. That helps. He's going to be still taking six, though. Disgusting. Disgusting. Fine. He kind of likes that. He got hit twice, which means two charges. Got these bomb stacks, too. This ain't good. Those are multi strikes. We don't have them. I think we got to go all in here. Ew. 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 Such an expensive turn. 
Uh oh. No good. Maybe we should should have gone to the doctor. Okay, well this is incredible. Goodbye in one hit. I love that. And then we can do this and then barrier. When there's only one left, we're kind of in like an awesome spot. Okay. I mean, boom. Boom. Gee, I hope it hits the right enemy. <laughs> Neat. How many more cards do we really want to add to our deck? That's what I'm concerned about. Uh, uh, stance, remove all charges from the next attacked enemy. Ooh. Deal two rage damage to a single enemy and gain five rage charges if they are defeated. Oh, that's kind of niche and expensive. That is pretty niche, man. Mallet, four damage to a single enemy. I mean, it's not bad. It's just like it's straight up a fine attack. But it's on our tank. That's the thing. It's on our tank, boy. I don't really want to be putting power charges on him or anything. But I guess it's such a high base damage that... And it is a... It's nice to have... I'm, I'm doing it. Another targeted, actual targeted attack so we know where the damage is going. Sounds good. I'm scared of the elite fight if, if that was just a normal fight. Let alone the boss. Backing minion. The scrawny drummer will keep the fight going all night by restoring its ally's armor. Which one's that? That's you? Wait. That's... You, right? Yeah, that's you. Uh, you gotta go. Or... Do we let fate decide? One, two, three... Okay, fate is decided. For direct, um, sure. Sounds good. Not not that bad of a turn, all things considered. That could have been way worse, like this turn. <laughs> this is crazy, whoa! Whoa, can we cleanse the buffs? We can cleanse the buffs. Our charges buffs, they should be. They are, okay, good. Okay we're dealing with here. Uh, shoot. You are annoying me big time. Wait, are you buffing up yourself? You are buffing up yourself. Oh. So if we do this, then we block the one damage, which I don't care that much about. They attack left to right, don't they? Yeah, we would block the one. So I might as well block the two damage. Yikes. At least his rage charges are off the charts now, right? Five? Yeah, it's pretty good. It's pretty good. Anybody buffed? Nobody is buffed. You have the backline support, which is... Five armor once and deal two damage to a random enemy every time an ally attacks. Okay, well, he really has to go. That being said, getting this to start corroding the armor of the, I was going to say, hopefully the backline guy would be great. Did not happen. Two, which don't care about that. Don't care about that. Kind of care about that. Don't really care about that. Three armor is good enough. 
Got two left here. Nobody has any buffs. Again, I don't think that... Yeah, that doesn't count as a buff. God, I really guess I should come for you, huh? Ah! Should have focused. Should have focused. Should have focused. Should have focused. I still can. Never mind. Never mind. We had much more energy than I thought. I assumed that the moves we were using were much more expensive, but they weren't. They were all one one boppers. Oh, can we please get a rage move? Woo! Hooey! Who wants some? Should we let RNG decide a little bit here? That's fine. Buff yourself up with what? Ah, you're gonna buff up your head with power. I mean, you know, sure. Armor corroded a little bit. We got a six damage blast in the face here, but we can also just full block it. You don't matter, friendo. same picture in a way so that I mean we'd, we'd corrode that one armor off otherwise so it's literally just gonna do the same thing bonk bonk a donk that fight was much easier and cleaner than the uh, the the last one by by a large margin this game is like this game's good it's it's just a nice, solid, very, very solid roguelike deck builder. Deal three damage to the enemy team, to the entire enemy team, and then exhaust. Ooh, okay. Two damage two times to a single enemy. Ah, multi-strike on the same enemy. Guaranteed. Like, we actually pick a target. Perseverance. Perseverance may be kind of good for zero. Gain a power charge. And an armor. Not bad. Not great. Not expensive, though. Uh, hell. I buff you up. I buff you up with the, uh, the bonus attack a lot. That is pretty reliably going to be like a five damage blast. Get an armor each turn. Unused energy becomes energy charges for... For this character. Decreases the energy cost of the next ability. That's great. Wait. Oh. Uh. Ooh. I want to remove a card for sure. Well, that's why. You only have two cards. <laughs> Do I need armor up? I kind of want to ditch 1-2 on our tank. Well, I, you know, he has Mallet, too. Because I was going to say, because I don't want another person to put power charges on. Ay, 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 ay. This is not actually not as easy of a choice as I thought. Uh, Strum, maybe. Maybe Strum. It's just a worse version of Shattering Impact. Like, straight up, just a, just a straight up worse version. Let's do it. Let's get rid of Strum. And then let's buy, uh, uh one of these. First, I'm applying a debuff. We don't really have a lot of debuffs. I don't really have a lot of unused energy, either. Let's uh, let's put one armor per turn on Brawl Fist. What what's his name? Who 
was his name there? It was very DND. All right, big boy. Exploding minion self destructing basis that leaves a corrosive mess in their wake. Yep. That can't be the elite. The bodyguard. That seems like the elite. A spotlight stealing armored brute that never saw a beat they didn't want to take. Oh. Two, gain two armor when guarding an ally. Please. Please hit the big boy. No dice. I like that. I like that. Seven damage. That's quite a quite a bit. I should probably block that. We still get to power charge anyways. Nobody has any buffs. Let's fo at this point let's focus you down. The RN RNG of the targeting decided who I should probably focus there. We got a little bit of corrosion off too, which is nice. That, yeah, that actually works out okay. Okay, um. Sounds good. What's going on here? Deal plus one damage to all enemies at the start of every third turn. Oof. Do I want to blast my... Yeah, let's blast the charges. And again, you look like you're uh, you're on your way out, so I, I'll focus you down. These guys have a lot of HP. And he seems very, very, very defensive, which is not a shock. He's a, he is a drummer after all, yeah? Always do that first. There's no reason not to. Okay, good. Who's doing six? You're doing six. And, uh, and it's three twice to make matters worse. Let's do this. We'll remove your buff, so it's only going to be two damage. And then we can uh, block it and guard. I know we won't be able to get his buff charges uh, if we block, theoretically. Yeah, correct. I mean, I didn't think that. It, it makes sense that that's the case. I was just kind of curious. Decent amount of armor corroding going on over here. Definitely looks like we should focus down this one, though. We don't need to go for armor this turn if we don't want to. But... We can just 50-50 that this will hit the target we kind of wanted, and then we can just block anyways. Works for me. This is such a busted passive barrier helm. So good. So good. Uh, kind of want to cleanse his buffs, but he's not attacking me anyway, so I guess I don't know if I care. All right, augment here, I guess. Uh, our tank is our carry. Our tank is our DPS carry, hello? And then you know what? We're not going to get a next turn, so let's cleanse his buff now. Because it will go down to three next turn, so it's worth cleansing now. Oh, it has to be this right. It has to be on you. you even You're not even attacking me. You just don't care. Cool. <laughs> this barrier... La Wait, I wonder... Does it go away at the end of the turn? Oh, well, it turns out... Oh, that's right. Bottle of Fury. I oh, God. It's, it's tough keeping up with that because it doesn't display it. Boink. Doink, doink, doink. 
And then we just deal with it. Did that just in case there was another uh, stuff <laughs> fall from the sky, you know? Just in case, just in case. Bye bye! Yeah, not, it was not too bad of an elite. That one fight was just worse. Ooh, gain an energy charge when taking health damage. Oh, health damage. Who am I most likely to let health damage slip on? Honestly, it might be the healer because she can heal it back. On first glance, I was like, definitely this guy, but he, uh, he has armor a lot of the time. I'm gonna put it on Stitch. Ohana means family. Family means let's rock. Gain one team energy on kill. Who's most likely? You're the most likely to finish off somebody. Grimnar Brawl Fist. Hell yeah. Thicken. Add three armor to a single ally and two armor to all other allies. That's actually really good. I mean, it does cost two. I'll tell you what. Let's buy Augment. I would love to have a second Augment. I don't have enough money for the shop, so why would I care there? Gain two armor when guarding an ally. Okay. Boar Iron Cast. Obviously, I'm going to put that on the only character we have that can guard an ally. <laughs> that, that one is pretty clear. Aggressive Guitarist takes every opportunity to strike fast and hard with no regard for its own safety. Alright. Okay. What's happening here? We got a lot of damage coming out here. We need to make sure we're like a little bit cautious. Oh my god, I can't believe that actually hit the, <laughs> the correct target. Okay, I guess I should have done that one first. I suppose maybe I would have done things differently. I don't think I would have. A we move, please. Ah. Uh... Oh shoot. That actually isn't how I probably wanted to do that there. I'm fine with taking this four. Actually, well, if we have Barrier, I mean, are we going to... Eh. Let's get, let's get working on that armor here. Go aggro. One power charge every time this character takes armor damage. So we want to make sure we break that armor in one hit. Oh. We could do a big, a big blast. We could do seven damage to everybody, but, but that's it, and that's done after that. I think we augment. Oh my god, all of this damage. I think this makes more sense. Yeah, I was going to say, because there's a world where we totally kill one guy. That's awesome. Okay. And then this isn't great. He'll still end up taking two damage, which I don't love with his current health level. But it's fine. Can we kill? Armor, this is a unique scenario where armor is better than um, barricade. Because it's two strikes that add up to four damage. Yeah, we could have gained energy, yada, yada, yada. I don't know. We're going to be fine. We're going to do a kill. Boy, I hope this random move hits the correct target. Yeah, boy! Convert three rage charges to power charges. Swap corrosion and poison effects on a single enemy. Ooh. Ooh, that's kind of fun. There is a real world where that makes sense.
It might be garbage, though. I, if we were leaning into it a little bit more, if we would have taken that one that was like, add corrosion whenever you debuff a fool, like, then maybe we'd be talking. I know I don't need the money, but I also don't want any of those cards in my deck. Because we want to make sure that the cards we draw are good cards. You know what I'm saying? Ooh. 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 Uh, again, armor up makes more sense here. If we want to block this. If we want to block this. Do we even want to block it? Maybe we don't want to block it. Hey, I'm blocking here. Um, let's go in. It's kind of is only like three damage since we would have armor corroded one anyways. Ay -ay -ay. Don't love this. I'm going to barrier that, no matter what. Unless I killed this guy, but I can't bank on that. I guess I could have banked on that. No, I still can't. Wait. Three. Oh, no. I... Oh. This is fine. I'm actually okay with her taking health damage, because then we gain energy next turn, and she can just heal it back up with Arterial Bite before the end of the game here. I'm, I'm, I'm good with this. I'm good with this. Because that ends up with us uh, being able to take that three damage with our tank, too. That actually works out very well. There we go. We gain energy, or at least stored energy. So her next move... Oh, shoot. <laughs> oh, that doesn't work. Targets, what do we got? Sure, fine. Uh, a lot of damage coming out here. A little bit of damage coming out there. Gain up to four health if health damage is dealt. I Yeah, that makes it sound like, you know, it's going to do no damage. So it's going to heal none. So I'm gonna save it, I guess, because then maybe we'll be able to use two move two buff moves for free. That'd be awesome. Okay, here's the question. Does it use up both of them? It does not. Okay, so there's six. That's not enough. But we're we're obviously doing both. Oh, this is incredible. Fuck! Bonk. Why is my tank so strong? Why is my tank my DPS carry? He's everything, dude. He's my everything. Select a card from the discard pile, add it to your hand. Maybe. Stance. Gain a power charge every time a card is exhausted. We don't... Well... Barrier has exhaust on it. Wait, that. I mean, that's kind of good. 50% chance to grant either two power charges or add three armor to a single ally. Erratic support. I mean... I mean, it's fine. I'm gonna go with build charge because because barrier has exhaust on it. Oh, we did it? Oh, that was it. It healed. We healed. Okay. That was just... That was the whole thing. Alright, Crash and Stone. Let's go. It's the big show. The massive drummer enjoys throwing waves of minions at your band and will destroy its own backup to get to you. And a weak singer who can't hold a note alone but can power up his entire team. He's gotta go, right? Is that what I'm learning here? Uh. 
Oh, God. Oh, God. Fair. Where's this damage coming from? Oh, it's back there. I just can't see it. Oh, boy. So, yeah, that, that extra stuff doesn't come out. You can't tell. Uh, okay. Sucks. Oh, does it ever. I can't kill anybody. You gotta stop, mister. We gotta get him out of there. Gain three power charges when this character slays an ally. Oh, is he doing that? He does that damage to literally everyone. Okay, but he gains the power charges. We can just cleanse those, theoretically. Yes, we got the cleanse. Good, good, good. Stop it. That's such a good... Oh, I'm so glad we picked that. We'll save Storm, then. Ah, oh, this is weird. There, There's an argument for every one of these moves here, I think. But we got to think long-term here. Just because he's the tank doesn't mean he needs to take damage. I'm imagining this is the last fight that we have in the demo, so we can play kind of crazy. But still. Are we still... We're still in this stance. What are you doing? Summon two minions. Okay. What happens if we do this? I'm curious. It, probably nothing. That will not do health damage. This doesn't matter. And I guess we can find out doesn't do anything. It exits the stance. There might be some kind of gameplay with stance dancing, but we don't have it right now. That's, that's rough. It's a rough amount of damage. And we can't kill anybody. We'll see where's it gonna go. All right, I'm pretty fine with that. Pretty fine with that. Oh, actually, that guy's going to die before he gets to go. I, I prefer that because, yeah, we can cleanse him. We did not get lucky and get the cleanse right now, but it is possible. Oh, here we go. I'm willing to... Did we... Yeah, we, we put the shield on. I'm willing to take some damage here. Ow. Oh, wait. He was still guarding. He was still guarding. Oh, you... You, you, you. You, 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 you. Ow. 
at this point, it's never showing up when we want it, so maybe we do do it. It's never showing up when we want it. Screw it. Get it out of here. I'm going to regret that, but hey. But hey, that's just a theory. A misplay theory. Ugh. I got it. I got to keep going for this, though, right? This is incredible. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. That's so good. So good. Uh, you have double shield on, so clearly it does stay. It stays if it doesn't get used. That's actually very important information. That was bad. I, I, I should have only done that if we could have also armored up after, because he's going to take the full 10 now. It's not great. This is a cool and well-designed first boss. Like, it's got traditional tropes, but prove it's like very, very proven that they understand like how to spice it up a, a little bit. Bop. Bop. Probably should have arterial bited. Bitten. Bited it. Ar bit that artery. There we go. Alright, this is just like, we're, we're gonna keep on doing this until I die, baby. So good! He's got, uh, he's got armor on, so we really don't need to focus too much. That being said, I will just, I'll prep it for later. We should have, uh, buffed him up that way first, but still. Still has a stance on, too. Let's preemptively add that, I guess. 25. Oof. Summoning adds? Yeah. Yeah. Why not? We, we got a decent shot at lethal this turn. Oh, oh, bad draws though. Bad draws for that. If what we wanted was lethal, we did not get it. Does he do five to himself too? I know he does five to everybody else. Okay, we got one block. Another block there. So we got two blocks on that fool. Five damage taken, so you're not really going to take that much, though. Not really. Let's go all in, baby. Did it hit him? No. Oh, my God. <laughs> Very cool. Oh, boy. We did it. We did it. Unlock additional band members each with their own unique decks and abilities. Destroy the Chrono Caster before the demons find it. So you can stop this skipping record. Complete challenges to unlock new abilities and gear. Yep. Sounds incredible. I, uh, yeah, I want to play this when this comes out. I want to play this when this comes out in, uh, in December. Very, very solid, very, for a demo, very polished, proof of concept. It's, again, is it doing anything, like, exceptionally new? No, but it's doing it in a way where it's visually, uh, like, aesthetically, thematically, incredibly fresh. And it is doing it very, it is doing it very well. And it's showing, you know, that it understands what is working in the, you know, in the genre. What works and what doesn't. And there is enough of a shakeup with the uh, the party uh, formula that it it feels 
it feels good. You know, it does not feel new, but it does feel very good. I really liked it. So, and I've been wanting a good, normal, <laughs> traditional, solid roguelike deck builder. And uh, honestly, this seems like it, it might scratch the itch. Uh, I'm excited to check it out and see where they take it because this was just a demo. So again, proof of concept is what this, what you saw here today was just a proof of concept. To me, they proved their concept. They know what they're doing. I'm excited to see where they take it. That's going to do it for today. Thank you for watching. If you want to pick up this game, make sure to please wishlist it. There will be a link at the top of the description. Go over there, click that. If you know for a fact you're going to get it, or if you think you might get it, or if you just thought it was neat, go over and wishlist it, please. It helps the game out a great deal uh, when it eventually comes out in early access. But that's that. My name is Retromation. I cover indie games every single day with an extra specialty in roguelikes. If it is your jam like it is mine, then you're going to want to be subscribed here. Otherwise, you're going to miss out on a bunch of great new indie games, great new roguelikes. It is a free thing to do, and you can just undo it later if you find out you hated this channel and it was a mistake. I hope that's not the case, but you can. It's a possibility. It's free to do. Might as well. Thank you for watching. Thank you. Thank you. Check out the channel. We'll go some more every single day, and I'll see you next time. Bye.